Patriot Super Bowl champion Teddy Bruschi uses his survivor story as a life lesson with even greater urgency now. The Patriots Hall of Famer suffered a stroke earlier this month, and Steve Burton sat down with Bruschi for his first TV interview since that medical emergency. Two time stroke survivor Teddy Bruschi. Smart, handsome, super dad, phenomenal husband. On the day Teddy Bruschi retired, Bill Belichick called him the perfect player. But his life has been anything but perfect. This year on America's birthday, Teddy Bruschi suffered his second stroke. Take me back to July 4th. Yeah. What happened that day, Teddy? Well, I ran, I ran to the high school where my, where my boys go to school. And as I was walking down to the field, I just had this weird sensation in my left arm. And something wasn't right because I was trying to pick the bag up that we had of equipment. Mm -hmm. I was picking it up, picking it up, but it just wasn't coming up the way I wanted it to. And I yanked it with my right arm. And my left arm got caught up in the rope. And my left arm just came up like this. And I had lost use of my left arm. It was up here, but I don't know how it got here. Mm -hmm. And I grabbed it like this. And I said, what's going on? But the what's going on didn't sound like that. The way I'm clearly saying it right now, I don't want to imitate what it's like to slur your speech when you're having a stroke, but I slurred the words. It didn't sound like what's going on. And the minute I heard myself say those words, I knew what was happening. How scared was your wife? Uh, I can remember her face still. The most graphic thing about it, I think, to her was the facial droop mm -hmm. and the fact that, you know, truthfully, I was eating. I was having a snack. After I had had my run, I was, I was rehydrating with water and having a little snack, and the food was running down my cheek, and I didn't know it, w it, w it was. With didn't, the, I didn't even know. You didn't feel I didn't it. even know. Heidi thought I had thrown up. So by looking at her, though, she didn't look too scared. She was scared. It was 15 years ago, 2005, when Bruski suffered his first stroke. He came back and played four more years. So this time around, the Patriots legend knew exactly what to do. Knowing from being a stroke survivor for 14, 15 years, we knew exactly what was going on. So these are classic warning signs, facial droop, speech slurred, arm weakness. We called 911 and we got to the hospital as quickly as we could. Do you worry now that it could happen a third time? You, I mean, you, you got the incredible ability and you've been blessed yeah. to bounce back. Yeah, that's Is a, it in the back of your mind? That's a good question. That's a good question. And if it was, it was after the first time. Like, because after the first time, I even attempted to play in the NFL again. And I didn't know if I was doing the right thing, mm. actually. I just knew when I came back the first time, five to ten years down the road, it would just eat me alive if I didn't at least try. Right. Bruski is a top NFL analyst on ESPN. He's also the founder of Teddy's Team, teaching kids and families about stroke awareness. For me, it was, it was really therapeutic to get in front of them and talk about what happened because this is my first time on camera talking about it, and it was my first time in front of a group of people talking about it, and I was really happy to do so. Now, Bill Belichick doesn't hand out a whole lot of compliments, so when he called Teddy Bruschi the perfect player, you know he's something special. Bruschi's been training six miles a day, gearing up for the Falmouth Road Race. He already ran the Boston Marathon, and he's pulling big time for David Ortiz. Guys, over to you. Wow. Great story, Incredible Steve. Incredible story, Steve. You know, the way he describes it, you can picture what it looks like. You can almost feel what it feels like, and I think that will be helpful to a lot of people to know the warning signs in the future. Right, and especially the way he described the progression of those yeah. warning signs. You know, you hear it, but to hear him talk about it, I think makes many more people aware. Yeah, so glad that Steve spoke with him.